melt in your mouth, brown sugar and caramel flavor mixed with crunchy pecans. These classic Southern pecan pralines are gonna fly right off your cookie tray and are perfect for holiday gifts. Hi, I'm Lindsay from Life, Love & Sugar, and after testing all kinds of pecan pralines, I'm gonna show you how to make the very best ones today. So we're gonna to wanna to lay out our parchment paper. We'll scoop our pralines onto these when they're ready so that they don't stick. And then you wanna have a nice tablespoon scoop. You could use a regular spoon, but I like to use the tablespoon. And a spatula to help. And then a hot plate for your hot pan that we're gonna have over here. So let's head over to the stove. So to get started, we're gonna add our sugars to our pot. We've got two kinds. We've got regular white sugar and brown sugar. I really prefer a combination of the two. All brown sugar is gonna give you a more grainy pecan praline, whereas all white sugar isn't gonna give you quite the same flavor. Next, we're gonna add our heavy whipping cream. You can actually use all different kinds of milk. You could use evaporated milk, you could use buttermilk, all kinds, and they all work really well. We've got butter, which adds some flavor and some nice texture. And then sort of a special ingredient, I suppose you could say, is our baking soda. The baking soda actually really intensifies the flavor of the praline, and it actually helps to keep them tender. We're gonna cook this over about medium heat. It's gonna slowly kind of melt and come together. So you don't need to do too much stirring now. Keep an eye on it and stir it occasionally as things melt. Um, we actually are gonna cook this until it gets to soft ball stage, which is 236 degrees, so you're gonna wanna have um, a candy thermometer or something that you can use to check the temperature of it. Okay, now that we've reached 236 degrees, we're gonna to wanna to take this over to the counter and add our pecan, salt, and vanilla, and stir, stir, stir. Okay, so we're gonna add our pecans, our salt, and our vanilla extract. I'm gonna stir that all together, and then you're gonna to wanna to keep stirring pretty quickly for about three and a half minutes. So you'll notice that as you're stirring, the mixture gets lighter in color and starts to thicken. You'll also notice that your arm is gonna get pretty tired. So you don't want your mixture to get too thick before you start scooping out your pecans. So if you're not really sure, you can actually just kind of test them and see. You can scoop one out, place it on your parchment paper. And if they spread nicely and they, you, they give you the shape you want, you're good to go. If they spread out too much, you're not really happy with them, you can keep stirring for a little bit. I might stir for just a little bit longer. Now keep in mind that as you're scooping these out, your mixture is gonna start to cool, so you wanna work really quickly. If you do find that your mixture is getting too cool and they're not spreading well, you can pop your pot back onto the burner that you were using. You don't want to turn your burner back on because you don't want to continue cooking it. But it will help keep it warm so that you have a little more time to scoop your pralines without the mixture getting too firm. It can help to give it a little stir after every few pecan pralines you set out just to keep the mixture smooth. I would say my mother-in-law is actually the one that is most in love with pecan pralines in our family. She tries them pretty much everywhere she goes. So as I was testing these, she was my litmus test and tasted them all. I can tell you that she has decided that these are perfect. Got all our pecan pralines done. Now we just wanna let them sit and cool and firm up. They will firm up the longer that they sit and cool. It'll take them an hour or two to really get firm enough. So once your pecan pralines have cooled and they're ready to go, you can package them up for Christmas gifts, take them to a holiday party, whatever you do with them, I know you're gonna love them because they are absolutely delicious. The best classic Southern pecan pralines you will have. For the full recipe, head over to lifeloveandsugar.com.